Hey guys, it's your brother D-Minus Gamer, and here we are in the transfer window for the Wolfsburgers career mode, 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 and here we go, here we go. And we are going to send Blark Tholakirk, Tholak, out into the wilderness. Yes, you are on your way on alone. Go be free. No, actually, we just sold him, and we're going to go ahead and advance it here. I am just going to go rapid fire into these. Unfortunately, if you did not see already, Diego Benaglio has asked to leave the club and we will go ahead and add him to the transfer list and I will give you guys a spoiler list, a um, spoiler list, I'm sorry, spoiler alert right now, the man, the myth, the legend, Diego Benaglio will be sold, he will be sold to Everton for uh, five million dollars and that is why we are going to have to go and take a look. One of you guys uh, recommended Matthew Ryan, the other one that was recommended was Tim Howard, my boy from the United States, and it makes sense as Everton has taken Manalio that we maybe in turn go ahead and take Tim Howard on a discounted price. Perhaps then we're going to inquire about both Matthew Ryan and thank you to the subscribers who uh, recommended these uh, people to me. Uh, another uh, recommended player, Zachary Bakali. I know I already have him in a couple of my career modes, but he's just so freaking good. We're going to go ahead and add Maximilian Arnold in there and maybe one mil and uh, see what we can play around with in this transfer window. Goody goodness. Another player recommended, Leggero uh, Alia, the five-star winger. Very, very popular on Ultimate Team and nice and cheap. And another Ultimate Team favorite, Luis Muriel. Uh, the speedster as we are switching to a 4-4-2 formation and here we go here we go Zachary Bacali accepting the terms well PSV accepting the terms and now we must go to personal terms with Zachary Bacali and we're gonna go ahead and advance it and as you can see right here Diego Benaglio is sold to Everton for six million we get five million allocated into our transfer fund so we get a little bit more to play around with and there we go Alia has um, uh, Warder Brennan has agreed to uh, sell us Elegero? Ele Alright, whatever. <laughs> to sell, uh, and uh, as well, Everton has agreed to sell Tim Howard to us, so hopefully we can get those deals done in time for our next match. And there we go! The first signing of our January window! And our second signing back to back, we have Elia and Bakali. We have the wingers of the future for this Wolfsburg team. And as you can see, we are going to go and look to strengthen our midfield. The Belgian Yuri Tielsman. Let's see if we can go. And there we go. Another massive signing of Luis Muriel. I am sorry if I'm just blasting through these. I don't want to have two, three episodes, you know, just baked in. So I'm just going to give you the quick counter lights. And there we go. A very interesting Marseille once Jurgen Lakati And I was actually looking to keep. Hold on to him. We're going to offer them 17. Let's see how they do. We do have a match against Hertha BSC coming up. So we will see. And there we go. Marseille has agreed to pay 17 million for Jurgen Lakadia. Um, I'm a little bit torn because he's been playing a lot better for me lately, but with that 17 million, we can get a lot of good people. And thank goody goodness, we got Tim Howard in. If you guys didn't notice, I, I only had uh, one more day until we had our next match against Bertha. And there we go, there we go, into this match at Bertha. And uh, look at this uh, glitch, guys. If you can see Perisic, um, you might be asking, why are you showing us footage from the 87th minute? Look at Perisic over here, still has his bib on. Still has his bib on, he's playing in the game, I subbed him in in the 80th minute. And look at the amazing bicycle kick, and all of a sudden in this game that's tied 1-1, the game freezes on me. FIFA 15 cannot get here soon enough, look at this cheese! You can still hear the announcers actually announce and everything, but the game has pretty much frozen, and it was like, how do I know the game is frozen? Well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to go right into the menu. And as you can see, yeah, the goddamn game was frozen. So I had to replay this game. But I did want to see, uh, show you guys that weird glitch right there. So here we go. So here we go. Here we go. You can see the lineup right here. As you can see, we are running the 4-4-2 up against Hertha BSC. We're going to go into this game. Done it. Done it. Yeah. Are you guys excited? Um, I know a lot of you guys are overseas, but I am ecstatic today. Today marks the official kickoff of the NFL, the other football. I know you guys don't like this other football, but I'm excited. I'm a big uh, NFL fan. And uh, yeah, it's, a, it's been a great day. But anyway, back into this game. As you can see, Lurie Muriel getting onto the ball, showing his speed, but unfortunately snuffed out right there by the Hertha defense. And there we go. 
on his bike. Rodriguez getting it. A good cross, but cannot find anyone, and it falls to De Bruyne. Can he find someone to take a shot? He cannot, and it is parried away, but can we win it back? Divac Origi, can he, will he take a shot? He lays it off to Muriel. Muriel still going, still dribbling, still dribbling. Let's check the clock. Yes, yes, still dribbling, and finally crosses it in. Two! Lacazette mistiming his jump. It looked really good right there, like he was going to get a free header on it. But it was not in the cards. But here we go, Lacazette stealing the ball over to Muriel. Muriel, the midget. Actually, he's 5'10", not exactly the tallest, and could not take advantage of that slip-up from Hertha. But here we go, attacking the inbound pass again. And Kevin De Bruyne just missing, parried away by the keeper. And there we go, into the second half. As you can see, Divac Origi, who's been in excellent form, finds... What? What? What's wrong? What? What the hell is wrong with this game? <laughs> How can it be near the end of the FIFA 14 life cycle and now all these glitches are like showing up in my freaking system? Oh my goody goodness, this episode is just going to be glitch heaven. My god, my god. Anyway, we are still tied at nil-nil. Entering the 65th minute, Kevin De Bruyne getting it out to Divac. Origi, Origi over the top to Kevin De Bruyne. <laughs> <sighs> De Bruyne, the big bad wolf. Who else was going to decide this game? I mean, come on, let's be realistic. Who else is going to decide this game? Beautiful one-two play between Divac Origi, the Belgian, and his fellow Belgian, uh, Kevin De Bruyne. And there we go, there we go. Slotting it home, just powering it home. Not even using a finesse shot, just powering it home past the keeper. And there we go, there we go. Up 1-0, we were going to bring in some reinforcements. The new signing, Zachary Bakali and Junior Bolanda. We have so many Belgians in this team. It might as well just be the Belgian national team. And there we go, in the 83rd minute. Something, something not so great is going to happen. There we go. Unfortunately, my boy, Andre Yedlin, taking a knock right there. Sprain ankle. Hopefully, it is not too much damage. And we're going to go ahead and kick the shit out of this ball. And hopefully, we can hold on. It is the 89th minute. We are on our way. Ligion is too fast in, and he cannot find Lacazette. But will it be enough? Please, no 90 second cheese. Please, no 90 second cheese. Please, no 90 minute second cheese. Ah, uh, yeah. There we go. There we go. We get the win. We stay on top of the league. And there we are. Last time I checked, we had a two point lead over Borussia Dortmund in the Bundesliga and a hard fought match in the rain not the prettiest of matches I must say I must say but Kevin De Bruyne coming through the big bad wolf sealing three points for the Wolfsburgers and we move on and there we go still in the transfer window I'm going to get a little bit of a couple nuggets right here here we go with that 17 mil we are going to press on and try to sign a few other people this is the preview for next uh, blah, 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 blah. This is the preview for the next episode, and here we go, here we go, the big boy. I'm going to try to get Julian Traxler, no promises, and Musa Sissoko. These players are some of my faves in FIFA. Hopefully we can land them. Can we land them in the next episode? Who should I transfer in? I'll find out on the next episode, guys. Leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, and until next time, guys, stay humble. Go Niners.